Hello and thanks for joining us. A national organization dedicated to improving the lives of African American men and youth made a stop in Brooklyn Park. The city leaders met with representatives from Cities United to talk about successes and challenges within the city. And Delane Cleveland joins us now with more on that. Delane? Mike, according to the Brooklyn Park Police Chief, about 10 years ago, juvenile crime plagued the city. But as of today, the chief says crime in Brooklyn Park is at a 32-year low, due in large part to youth outreach. Now, has our work with the juveniles been the sole contributor to that? I would say no, but it's certainly been a big piece of it. That was one of the messages city officials in Brooklyn Park wanted to get across to a group of 35 people from the group Cities United. The organization is a national movement focused on eliminating the violence in America's cities related to African American men and boys. Different people who work with youth in Brooklyn Park on a daily basis share their success stories with the group on how they keep youth engaged. However, the police chief says that while they've done good work with youth, more of a focus should be put on helping young African American men. Cities United also focuses on um, th the second half of that population, which is youth between 18 and 24. We're not doing great work there right now, and we're not doing intervention kind of work. We're still doing prevention. So our goal now is to move forward into intervention. Chiefs also said that the police department developed a partnership this year with the Parks and Recreation Department on a 10-week program that targets juveniles identified as being on the edge of potentially getting in trouble. That group will graduate in a couple of weeks, at which point city officials will analyze the success of that program. Mike.